All right, guys, today we're going to talk a little bit about to build or not to build. Welcome to Van Life with Gina. Let's go. All right, guys, this video is about if you're starting out van life, to build or not to build. Do you want a no build van or a build van? For me, I built this out because I have cats and I tried to build it where they would be comfortable with them, as you can see the cat tree. But a lot of the stuff, I wish I would have actually moved in it before I built it out. Uh, but I didn't, I'm, I'm happy with my sink area and my kitchen area, but this whole bench here, I would have changed that up. I wouldn't have put that in there and I'd have put like a, a chair or something there. Uh, cause I do have a, a, a step van, so it is a lot more room than a van. But if you're getting into van life, you know, you're just starting out, you're buying a van that's not built out. Let's talk about it. What's up everybody? It's Friday. It's not going to be a long video today, but I wanted to talk to people that are thinking about, I wanted to put it out there for folks that are thinking about getting into van life or just starting out, got you a van and you're decide, you're trying to decide, you know, how to build it out or whatever. You know, the best advice I've ever heard is live in it first and then build it out. Um, you know, live in it a while, get the feel for the space. I heard that from Van City Van Life Chrome over there. That really um, resonated with me as in living at first and then you realize what you need, where you need it and how you're gonna use the space in your van. I think it really is some of the best advice out there. Also, I heard this over there too uh, at uh, Van City Van Life. You, don't, you know, starting in van life, most people get into it because maybe they don't have a lot of cash or that you're a lot of money or a lot of income where they're going to have a fancy place to live. Start slow. You know, what's uh, like for uh, winter time, get you uh, start out with a, a cheaper style of heater, um, but understand your heat that you know what you're getting. Like I have a Mr. Buddy, I have a Wave 3 and I have a diesel heater. I use them for different things um, or different ways of heating. You know, everybody wants big solar. You, you may not have the money to start out with solar. Uh, have a way to charge your phone or whatever. Uh, get you a small solar charger. Uh, there's all kinds of things to do. But as far as building out the van, um, you know, if, if I was starting over and I didn't have pets and I didn't buy a, a bread truck, I would probably just get a gutted van, a, a cargo van, insulate it with Reflectix and uh, put some kind of wall up, you know, uh, walls up that I, I, I could do uh, because I am no carpenter, but something I could do on my own. Um, and then um, I'm telling you now, um, Bunny Place here is a great channel. Go check out her no build van build. She didn't do insulation, um, but she's in a good part of the country. Uh, she travels around and you know, she, I think she maybe follows the weather, but she's in good, good parts of the country where she, you know, she can get by without it. If you're not, you know, you got to build the van or do to the van what you is right for you in your area or where you're going to be. Um, and then there's vans that, uh, like Van Life Rocks, it's a no build van build and it's great. He has great ways to stay warm, ways to stay cool. Um, started out with small solar. Um, I haven't got solar on my van yet. I want, that's what I'm working towards. I do have a house battery, a hundred amp hour gel house battery, um, made by Renogy. But I also have a, a AC50S Blue Eddy, uh, which will run my fridge for four days if I needed to run, be off grid. It would run my fridge for four days, uh, before I would have to charge it. Um, so, and I have a portable generator I can use if I'm in the really hot area and I have an air conditioner that that generator will run. So it, it, it all depends on where you live, what you're looking for, what you're trying to do. But for, like I said, for me, if I was starting out again, I would just get a, an empty van and build me a little makeshift bed or get a cot and put a mattress on it. That's what um, a bunny plays here. Uh, did she got a it was like a camping cot and put a, a big giant foam mattress on it it looks great as she says it's really comfortable 
but uh, check out those channels bunny lives here van life rocks and and you can see great ideas on how to build a van without building it and um, you can save a lot of money that way and then as you go improve your living space you know uh, build it as you go uh, and uh, I've seen vans use just house furniture furniture from Ikea um, really great van builds that way um, go on to YouTube and look up no build van builds and you can get a lot of great ideas um, but there's all kinds of ways to do it guys so don't be discouraged uh, you know if this is what you want to do this lifestyle you can start with getting your van and uh, you know checking out how your space is in the van you know stay in it a while living in on the weekends until you're ready to go full-time figure out what you need where and because uh, everybody's different um, and uh, so yeah but uh, you know I lucked out by finding this bread truck I, I couldn't it wouldn't be good for me to be in a van that I couldn't stand up in because I'm kind of old and broken down a little bit uh, so I was fortunate to find this van uh, the step van and it was turned into an RV but we stripped everything out and I put back in uh, how I wanted to things to set up but there's a couple of things I would change that are kind of big um, one is I wouldn't have my bed up this high but also I can go to the back and store stuff so it, it's it's a take and give but uh, I wouldn't have this bench like I was showing you in the clip but anyway, I just, you know, don't get discouraged. You can't always, you know, we can't always have all the nice things to start out with. You got to work your way towards it. Um, and you can save money living in a van, but also living in a van can be expensive too. It just depends on how you live your life and, and, and the things you do in life. So anyway, guys, I know this wasn't a big informative video, but... Uh, I just wanted to put it out there. I, I, I see people that are wanting to start van life and they're a little scared to. Uh, but that's that's how I would do it. That's how I did it. Uh, and and how I would do it, you know, is start out with just an empty van and, and live in it for a few weeks and see where you need what you need. But uh, anyway, all right, guys, that's all I got for you today. So take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace out.